Let's talk about The Acolyte, episodes one through six. So we'll give our scores and then talk about our overall thoughts on the season so far. And then we'll give a spoiler warning and go more in depth into spoilers about, you know, the story, how we're feeling about it, if some of the stuff online is justified or not. But Alex, I'll go ahead and let you give your scores first for episodes one through six, and then I'll give mine. Okay, okay, okay. The Acolyte. Yeah, there's a lot to this in there. <laughs> I I will be honest. The first couple episodes, I w- I was not bagging the show. Like episode one, for example, I would have probably given. I thought it was average. Like I probably would have given it five out of ten. Like on our scale, you know, okay. or five as an average. I know a lot of people are bagging it and stuff, but I actually relatively enjoyed the first episode for what it was. Like I didn't have any mm-hmm. issues. Like people had episode two, same thing. I probably liked it a little less. I would have given it like a four out of ten. Uh, I don't. I didn't think it was like trash or terrible or anything. Like a little less enjoyable in the first episode. But again, I wasn't bagging it. And then episode three happened. <laughs> <laughs> and this was, in my opinion, and I'm not trying to be all like a follower like the crowd, but the worst Star Wars thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the acting, awful. And I know, I know it's kid actors. I know, but my God, was it awful. Like the acting of all of them, awful. But the, the biggest thing, it was so boring. Oh my God. I was, I, I literally, I'm not going to lie. There's a couple minutes where I, I, I fast forwarded because I, I was so, I was that bored. I never do that. I hated this episode. I thought the acting was terrible. I thought it was cheesy as hell. Don't even get me started with that. Some CW, worse than CW crap. But the word, <laughs> that, that chant those witches did, my God, I was laughing. <laughs> that, oh yeah, my. that was so out of place. I'm just going to jump in here to oh, agree with you because yes. that stood out like, what was that? Like they were having just a normal <laughs> scene and then the back it was just oh. like, oh, like what? <laughs> Dude, it was awful. It was awful. It was so weird. They did a cardinal sin about that pretty much trapped on Anakin's legacy which I am outraged with that. Like a lot of people are. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Yep. So episode three, literally zero out of 10. Not, and I swear to God, like I'm not exaggerating. There's not <laughs> one thing I liked about that episode. Not Dang. one. I didn't even know uh, it went, our, our scale went to zero. <laughs> it's like, it's zero me. It's like, it, I felt nothing. <laughs> like, I, would, I would have rather just been bad. No, it was a zero. So like, again, first two episodes, eh, four or five average. Third one, garbage. Fourth one, um, fourth one was a little better. I mean, it, it can only go up from there, right? <laughs> right. It, hopefully we don't go into the negatives. My, the scale's <laughs> going to get really weird then. Fourth one is okay. I mean, I still didn't really enjoy it. I would have given it, I don't know, three out of ten. Still below average. Episode five, I mean, obviously the best episode of the series. I mean, yep. just on action alone and, and effect. And, and everything and i actually don't mind the villain smiley mm. ren they're calling him <laughs> yeah i heard that i i would actually probably like i thought like i'm gonna be fair right i bagged i bag on the show but this one I, I would give like a seven out of ten i think this is the best kind of action we've seen in all of disney star wars yep the lightsaber fights were awesome well choreographed I, uh, they actually did things that shocked me a little bit even though i didn't care about anything it still shocked me a little bit and the villain i actually i i saw people some people complain about the villain i actually like him i thought he's fine to me i think he's an interesting character i think we'll get we'll get into this in the spoilers but i think there's one specific reason that i can think of that people wouldn't like the bad guy but we'll talk about it in spoilers yeah okay so yeah so i i'm being fair like this one was a, i i enjoyed this episode seven out of ten it was quickly paced ton of action great lightsaber fights great episode and then you have episode six it goes back to trash. <laughs> so I thought episode six was, uh, while not as bad as episode three, I mean, I would give this one a two or three out of ten. I, I, I don't like some things that happen, which we'll talk about in, in the spoilers. I thought the episode was actually kind of pointless. And Soul is actually my favorite character in the show. And it's a shame because I feel like if he was in anything other than the show, he'd be a fan favorite Jedi. I agree. But like he's in the show. <laughs> so he is my favorite character by far. I, I love Soul. Put him in something else that's not this show. And so I think overall the first six episodes, I mean, I'll give a three or four out of ten. I tried I was trying to get the benefit of the doubt. I heard all the outrage. Some of it justified, some of it not, but I, I tried. And one good episode out of six. It's well, there'll probably be one more good episode in the last few because it'll be all lightsaber battles, and that will probably yeah, be it. Hopefully. Uh, so 
Hopefully. I don't just go back to the lightsaber fights. <laughs> Characters are not good. The twins, they have like one emotion for like surprised, <laughs> happy, shocked. It's like the same face. The younger twins even worse. Like I said, the only good character is Soul. And I don't mind the actor who plays the bad guy, Smiley Ren. I'll say that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's those are my ratings. It's a it's a show. I'll go through my scores and then give my overall issues with it. So episode mm. one, I was interested. Definitely like a new era. We haven't really seen that much. At least I haven't read the books, so I haven't really seen much High Republic. Mm. I didn't know too much about the show going in. So when I saw the High Republic stuff, I was like, okay, I'm kind of excited for that. And then Soul came in. I liked his character. Um, some of the other characters, like Jackie's okay. Yord's kind of a, an idiot, whatever. But from episode one, there were some things that stood out to me in the writing that I was like, that's just not good writing. It, it was very mm-hmm. cliche. Like they do the twin thing where it's like, mm-hmm. I just know at one point they're going to point at each other and someone's going to have to decide which twin is good. That kind of writing, yeah. you know? It's mm-hmm. like, oh, this looks bad. And then in episode two, oh, well, episode one, I gave uh, a, a six. I thought it was about average, maybe a little better. I think the High Republic stuff kind of elevated it in my mind. Like, oh, I'm excited Mm -hmm. about that. I want to see more of that. Episode two, I gave a five. I think it was a little worse. I I think we have the same like trend. I'm just a little bit higher than you. A little, (laughs) yeah, a little nicer. (laughs) But there was something that happened in episode two where I was like, okay, I'm worried about the writing of the show. I won't go into spoilers, but there's like, there were, there were warning signs for episode three. I will say that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, and then episode three (laughs) happened. Yes. And, episode three i did not like i gave it a two so the reason i didn't give it a one because i didn't even know we could go to zero (laughs) was there were some things where like the mom of the twins was talking about like the force and how their society viewed the force and i thought that was an interesting perspective like we haven't really seen anybody other than the jedi or the sith really talking about i mean i guess we saw the bindu which is kind of different too and the night sisters may use some of the force but you know yeah True. It like, But I, I like seeing those different perspectives and especially like back in the High Republic era, some of these other religions, the like push and pull between them and the Jedi. I thought that was an interesting idea. Now, it was implemented kind of boringly, which is bad. <laughs> and yeah, there were just some goofy stuff in this. There were some things that didn't make any sense. There were some things that were just out of left field, bad acting. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was not into this episode for sure. Episode four, I gave a five probably just because it was much better than the previous episode (laughs) but all these episodes my notes for it is it was too short it was too short it was too short like they just need more time to put in more time and better writing would time fix this (laughs) though (laughs) yeah i don't know that's true i okay i I just want more time on episode five (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, there you go. More time and better writing, like you said. Yeah, yeah I think the Disney formula is hurting these shows, although the yes. writing of this is pretty bad. The cliffhanger on this was pretty good. Like, it's set up for a really good episode in the next one, but it almost felt like it was going to a commercial break and not ending yeah. because it just was over so fast. Yeah, that is true. It was kind of jarring. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I was like, that's it? But yeah, episode five, definitely the best episode of the show. Great action. Yeah. Not too many acting issues, probably because there was that much acting it was more action and Mm -hmm. because it was pretty soul heavy you know and soul is absolutely the best character and yeah there were definitely some surprises in this episode that caught me off guard which with how the writing was going i didn't think they were gonna do but they did same yeah so i'll give them props for that what would you rate episode five uh i gave it an eight sorry thank you an eight okay i mean not the best star wars but it did have some of the best action we've seen you know so Mm -hmm. i'll give it up that's that's good that's always good to see in star wars and then episode six um i gave a four again another short episode it feels like set up but yeah nothing really happened too much except for like a few things and it happened without really much reason and i don't know i just i don't think the payoff was earned in this one no yeah overall not my favorite show but it does have a high (laughs) a high yeah exactly it has the loki syndrome loki season two syndrome (laughs) loki (laughs) i got i I never thought i would like man this makes loki look like an oscar worthy tv man i don't know if i go that far but (laughs) (laughs) i think the show is off i just the acting the writing i I mean we can get into spoilers so we can talk about it yeah let's go into spoilers so spoiler alert for the accolade episodes one through six Uh, not that you care i mean you could you know you 
people might not even care about spoilers in the show yeah but, true yeah you know, some people like to just watch people bash star wars on youtube star wars more on youtube than actually watch star wars i believe it's it kinda, yeah. it's kind of sad but so like as much as i loved episode five like in the shocks of it you know of like your and all mm. them dying like i just i didn't care yeah I mean, I, I honestly felt bad for Soul just because he's the only character I Soul, like, yeah. and he lost his Padawan that, yeah. and all the people in his like the people he was responsible for. I was like, dang, that sucks. I but yeah, them dying, it was like, yeah, whatever. Shouldn't have more of an impact. Like if this was a well-written show, like Andor, like that would have been like an oh my god, like yes like like it still shocked me but like i just don't i don't care about those characters yeah literally when i'm watching the show i'm thinking of andor and like oh if we could just have writing like that to make this more seriously interesting and impactful i mean you're talking about a rogue sith if, i mean if you want to call him that murdering all this jedi you know like this like and this looks like a freaking cheaper version of the 100 and i like the 100 but like you know a worse <laughs> badly written worse 100 like a cw little like teeny boppy like you have all these jedis and stuff these masters they look like a little they look like kids i, I know i'm being nitpicky but like i think there's bigger issues but yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah there's bigger issues but now like i'm so mad at the show i'm just finding every little fault in it okay wait let me let me say something positive did you uh, know that, that the actor for soul i read learned english for this role because he liked Qui-Gon Jinn that much that he was like excited to be this oh. Qui-Gon Jinn like figure. That's so awesome. Dude, that is awesome I because love he that actor. I was talking to my dad about the show and he I literally like explained to him like think of Soul like a Qui-Gon Jinn. Like I literally yep. said that to him. Mm-hmm. And so that's, that's awesome with like the actor. The basis of his portrayal. Yep. I love Soul is a great He's a great character, and he is like a Qui Gon Jinn because he he'll go against the council to to yep. do what's right. I, I, I he's such a I, I, he's the only he's like the bright shining star <laughs> in this sea of garbage. <laughs> Seriously, no, literally, dude. Like if there's no soul, my, soul, my lord. Yeah. Okay, the one nitpick I have in episode five. Well, besides the not caring, is a uh, that scene where she cut her hair with the lightsaber? Come on, <laughs> tell me that didn't look. Tell me that didn't look cheesy. Oh, as hell. that was so awesome, dude! Are you kidding? And the way she like did it, and then she stood up, like it was all dramatic. <laughs> it, was, it was so dramatic. I was like, the only way they could make it more cheesy if, is if they did like that crappy slow motion where they just half the <laughs> frame rate and it's all choppy. <laughs> that was so bad. And then of course, you know, towards the end they do the stupid twin thing, like hence why she cut her hair. And then it, like honestly. It, I, and you know what I didn't understand? Uh, help me with this. Maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know if I can. <laughs> the little creature. What, what, what's his name? Little Basil. I thought the whole point of episode five was he was going to be the one to like warn Soul or something. And he was just like, he didn't even do anything. What was the point of him following her on there? Soul just outsmarted him or her and like figured it out. I think the problem is that Yord was the only one that communicate could communicate with him. Like, I don't think Soul speaks the language that Basil does. Yord was the translator. But, but yeah, Basil could have been like waving his hand and pointing and being like x like bad yeah instead of just doing nothing on top of that basil was like you know interrogate like punching her and whatever like it confronts her and he runs away and then like she's just like off on the ship fixing things what shouldn't she <laughs> be concerned about basil getting the soul yeah that's that's what i mean by like incoherent writing that just yeah if i was on a ship that someone knew i wasn't the person i would be worried as hell they were gonna go warn that other person but <laughs> even if they can't speak the same language like there's yeah. ways to be like something's wrong <laughs> yes it, episode the, the reason i didn't care for episodes uh was it six so that whole stuff with the ship was soul so pointless like it, it was a nothing episode yeah, it was like a side adventure with Basil and May. I did not care about that. So, and then the stuff on, on, with Smiley Ren and, what's Osha. the, I don't even know the twin's name, May? Osha? Osha? Osha. Osha is the one with Kamir. The good one. Yeah, quote unquote good one. Although, so my, what, I, I have that same issue with episode six. And also, I, I liked hearing Kamir's thoughts on the dark side, but my god, how is he already corrupting her when at the beginning of the yeah. episode, she's like, I can't be corrupted, or she says something like that. And then at the end, she's putting on his helmet and just doing what, like, I, that just seems way too fast. That might be an issue with the, like, runtime, the amount of episodes, they just have to rush it, but it just feels so forced. Not only that, there's like flirting and sexual tension. Like, yeah. Homeboy just murdered all your Jedi friends. Literally, just murdered all your Jedi friends in front of you. Like, snapped Yord's neck. And Did like, the triple tap on Jackie. That which was I love the way he used that. 
And I, I loved how he was holding the lightsaber up against, what was it, Yord's or someone's head. I don't remember who it was. Like, almost like a gun, you know? I was like, okay, let's see, I, I like that. That's that's good. But yeah, episode yep. six, that whole stuff. And I, I agree with you. I like Smiley Ren's, what's his real name? Kamiko? No, that's the Come boys. Here. I'm just gonna call him Smiley Ren. He, yeah, that's fine. And I, I don't even dislike his character. Like, I, I, I find him kind of interesting. He's a different take on a Sith, I feel like. And like, obviously, the main Jedi lady with the whip is a bad guy, right? Because he showed her his back and it, it looked like a whip mark. Oh, yeah. That's true. I didn't catch or, that, but that makes maybe sense. Maybe not yeah. obviously, but like, I, what I'm getting is she's, I feel like she knows who it is. Yeah, I feel like she's doing something shady and that makes like sense. That's her mas- that was his master, I feel like. Because yeah. he said he used to be a part of Jedi with the master. Yep, that makes sense. And she's probably freaking out because Yord sent out to sing like, oh, all these Jedis are dead. And, you know, mm-hmm. even the, her little Padawan's like, well, do you think what's his face could do it? And she got all defensive, like, how dare that's a huge accusation that that soul would do this. Yeah. Like, so I think she knows it's her old Padawan and she's going to come and finish the business. And then that's how they're going to get away with, you know, the Jedi, like in the prequels saying there's there's Sith haven't been seen in a thousand or so years. Yeah, they definitely need to explain that because... We saw Kiati Mundi, and if he's still around, yeah. and like everybody knew there was a Sith, why would they? Why would he specifically yeah. say we haven't seen the Sith in a millennia? And I think they're not. I don't think they are because I think the I think the Whip Lady is she's she you know obviously she's gonna try to hide hide it because she doesn't want them to know that like she whipped and banned her Jedi or whatever happened between them. That makes sense. So yeah. it, ma- it would make sense. That's how they would do it. But I didn't care for the, those scenes either. They're like walking around. I just didn't care that much. I think that's why I didn't catch that, because I wasn't really paying that much attention at that point. The whip looked cool, I guess. Yeah, the but... whip looked cool for a second. We saw it, but... Yeah, yeah. I think I just caught that because I was, like, trying to grasp onto something, like, cool. <laughs> They're like, okay, yeah. wait. He said that. He's like, I was trying to, like, I was trying to get myself invested. <laughs> I, I think my issue with episode six specifically, number one, all the stuff we just mentioned. But number two, I get you have to have a slowdown episode after a big episode like that. But my God, does it really have to be a pointless slowdown episode? episode like with this number of episodes you should have better stuff to do in these episodes yes like nothing nothing happened and like you said she really put on smiley ren's helmet like he's she's really getting convinced by a little little shirtless and what's up with star wars and their shirtless men man <laughs> they're trying to get the the women yeah they're trying to get the women to go see it or to watch we, it we can't we can't have women in bikinis, but we could have some shirtless men. <laughs> no, I don't get, I don't care about that crap, but I know people do. Okay, so I have a theory as to why some people might not like Kamir as the villain. Um, have you seen The Good Place? Yes, I have. I feel like the people who don't like him as the villain have seen that and can only see Jason they, in that. They can't like they can't differentiate. Yeah. Oh, which yeah, yeah I can see which that. Which I get. I had that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but like, I don't know. I feel like he does a good job of kind of being a little more sinister when he's actually being the Sith Lord. But at the start, I was like, oh man, this is just Star Wars Jason. What the heck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which I, I kind of saw that too at the beginning. But like, I don't know, like, I know people were complaining that he's kind of just like some angry teenager looking dude. Like he's just mad because a Jedi won't let him do what he wants to do. But like, I don't know. I find something like, I find that kind of unhinged and, and creepy that like, he just want he wants to be able to do what he wants to do and the Jedi are stopping him. Like, why does it have to be... I mean, it might get even deeper, too, if they, you know, if it turns out the whip lady was his master and stuff, but that would have even yeah, deeper true. reasons why. Actually, that probably is the real reason, now that I'm thinking about it, if that does come true. He's just using the other as, like, a facade. Like, maybe it's because all the other characters are so trash, except for Soul, that, like, he was <laughs> semi-interesting. Um, and he fought, like, the fighting was, like I said, in episode five. The only criticism I have, and it's not even criticism, it's just, like, maybe this, again, this is super nitpicky. But how come the Padawan was fighting better than all these Jedi Masters? Yeah, I didn't get that. But, I mean, maybe she's just really good at fighting? I don't know. I mean, her fight, like, it was an awesome scene. Yeah, it was I'm a just, cool scene. I don't know. She's just like, how does she fight him better? <laughs> the other non-Padawan guys just get rolled, and then she has a full-on yeah. fight scene. <laughs> sure, she even fights better in Soul, kind of. Yeah. The, the fight with Soul was more, it was more a classic Star Wars, you know, talking. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I think Soul was trying to figure out what was going on instead yeah. of just trying to win. The one thing I'm glad they did is I was so worried they're going to make Soul look like an idiot in Episode Six and mm-hmm. not know they switch because you a Jedi should be able to sense this crap. Yeah, I feel like he should have known earlier, but I guess he is in distress after all that happened. I well, because he didn't know. Uh, he he even said, and they even went to show that he's mad that he didn't sense Smiley Ren when they were talking to him in that other earlier episodes. So at least. They addressed that. 
in episode five, one interesting thing that I think was in the Thrawn books, um, I'm going to read the new ones soon, so I'll confirm that later, but is the addition of, I think it's Cortosis. Oh, is that the helmet thing? Yeah, and it like short circuits lightsabers when it's hit for a short period of time, which is definitely interesting. And I wonder what happened to that because like, seems like it's a High Republic yeah. thing, but we don't really see that in the new stuff. So it must have gotten lost to time somehow, or I don't know. Did it look like like he was getting that from like that cave they were in? Yeah. There was a moment where Osha like was looking at the helmet or looking at it and fix it and then looked off in the distance and saw like some sort of like metal or something in the wall like stone yeah, that could or something be it. it's true but i don't know maybe that maybe i just read that wrong <laughs> yeah maybe you're giving him too much credit but maybe not <laughs> <laughs> i just don't understand uh you're right I, I, I mean that's a very powerful tool that could be used against a jedi yeah i know like, like why not make a full armor set of that you know or even just like use a lightsaber in one hand and a sword made of that in the other and just like block the lightsaber yeah. with the sword they that's their lightsaber shorts out stab them that's true are, are, are they gonna you know retcon it and it, it's gonna be like uh like beskar is now like beskar yeah where it's like super yeah. rare yeah maybe they could do that i mean it's a cool device like it's cool like metal or whatever it is i just i agree with you it's like it's like where where is it <laughs> Maybe the Thrawn book will explain it better because I think I read that it's it's mentioned in there. So yeah, I know it's canon in like books, but it's like if I wasn't a Jedi or I hated Jedi, that's all I'd be looking for. So it must be that rare, maybe like we said. But but yeah, so that's episode four and five or, or five and six. But what else? I want to talk about what my biggest red flag was of like, oh, this writing mm, is very yes. suspect before episode three. So in episode two. They know that May is killing the Jedi that are on that planet, so they go visit mm -hmm. the, the one who's meditating. And while they're heading there, they're like walking through the temple in a group, and then May just splits off, follows this force projection, whatever it is. And first of all, why would you split off? But I'm yeah. like, oh, she split <laughs> off. She's going to find something bad and going to be blamed for it. So yeah, she that's goes, what I was too. Mm -hmm. finds the Jedi dead because May killed him. I'm like, oh, don't do this. And then they walk in, start blaming her, and I'm like, oh no, they're doing this. And then Yord comes in and is like, oh, I followed her, she's fine. And then I'm like, what was the point of that then? Why couldn't they just have her walk to the scene? Yeah. And like, how did she get there first? You're telling me the first group following the people who know the place got to there after she did? Like, it just makes no sense. Like, they would know the fastest way to get there. I don't know. Yep. It was like, that, that was, just... I agree. I did not understand that at all. Like, you're right. What was the point of that? If, if that... Was it to try to get Yor to trust her more? But she, he still never even did anyways. So <laughs> I don't like, know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I was worried they are going to do that too, though. I'm like, oh God, here we go. They're going to blame her and it's going to be a whole thing. And then Yor just pops up. Nope. I was following her. She's fine, guys. Because like, at first I was like, oh good, they're not doing that. And then I thought about it. And I'm like, but then what was the point? Why? <laughs> like, I don't know. Speaking of which, like... I I saw the twist a mile away with with that guy being Smiley Ren, yeah, especially in episode was it four before the lightsaber battle where he was like he would randomly go off or I'm gonna go here or I'm tied up on the tree and like yep. things would happen when he wasn't around. I'm like okay, yeah, I I guessed it was him in episode four. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe not episode three. I was starting to get like, what's the, what is the point of this guy? But yeah, episode four, they're talking about, oh, I've never seen your, my well, I think your in master episode either. Three, that was the flashback. So yeah. But oh, sorry. I episode, think episode two. Yeah, no, no. episode two. I wasn't yeah. totally sure there. Yeah, but that's yeah, right. episode I, four. I tried to block it. episode three out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, episode one, like I like in all honesty though, like I know I've been bashing it. Episode one, I I it was just like I said, five. Like it was average. Like I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It was like okay. There were good parts and, this... and suspect parts. Like the yeah. it was cool seeing Trinity fight as a Jedi. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that like, was a cool fight scene. Yeah. Yeah. Soul was great. Yeah, Soul was great. Uh what happened to Yord's Padawan? I don't know. Does he just get left back at the at Coruscant? You know I don't know. Like he was in episode one and then like Yord's Padawan's never seen again. I feel like they just forgot. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, he did have a Padawan. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah. And so episode one, I was like, yeah. And well, I'm trying to think of, well, I don't even, what else happened in episode one besides that fight? I, I don't even remember, actually. I just remember liking that fight. Osha's on that, like, oh, the ship? she's, yeah, the ship. And then Yord comes and finds her because they think oh, she killed right. her. That's and then right. Soul believes that it's not her and they go try to 
figure out who's actually doing it. That's okay. And at the very end, you see Smiley Wren. Yeah. Which I, I, when I, when I heard his voice in that episode, I'm like, Ooh, that sounds like an interesting character. Like mm-hmm. he sounds pretty cool mm-hmm. in his helmet. I agree. And then episode two, like you said, I think it was a little worse. They had that whole scene of the, a Jedi that hasn't spoken forever and oh one more thing about episode three that really brought it down is it feels like they tried to set up this mystery box and it just doesn't work because it makes no sense you're telling me that May dropped a torch and set a little fire yeah. and it blew up the entire temple there's no way I, I don't know I like- think I think maybe it was Soul. Maybe that's what Smiley Ren's referring to. Yeah, I think maybe the Jedi were came and were talking and there was a fight that started and they had to like fight and I don't know, an explosion happened. Like something else happened, but it's pretty obvious. Nobody's yeah. going to be tricked by that because it doesn't make sense. No. There's no way that fire one killed torch. everybody in there. And it's stupid that characters in the show believe that. Y- Even yep. if she was a child, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. It's, a, it's like, come on now. And the other thing I was mentioning about episode three is when he asked who the father was, like, mm-hmm. and they said they have no father. Like, <laughs> it's like, really? I thought that was supposed to be like a special thing with Anakin. Yeah. That kind of like diminishes that whole thing with Anakin. Like, what do you mean? They so have- there, there was one person that I haven't gone back and looked because I just can't bring myself to watch that again. But th- that <laughs> said, there were like two shadowy figures in the background watching that whole ceremony, and they were theorizing that that's how Plagueis eventually learns how to do it because I think Plagueis is the one who does that and creates Anakin. So like that's how he like learns the power and it gets passed down. But that Aww. might be kind of interesting. But I also agree that it it diminishes that uniqueness of the prophecy. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, for me, the I mean, I guess there has to be a way that Plagueis could learn that. But for me, it was more mystical, more, which I guess you could argue the witches are. Yeah. It was just more like, maybe more like biblical, I should, I guess I should say, like more like. Yeah, I think it's been leaning to the fact that either Plagueis or Sidious set it up more and more yeah. as it goes on. But I, I see what you're saying. It does kind of feel like that when it first happens. Yeah. Yeah, I just... It was like just the will of the Force created it or something. Yeah. Because I've read theories that, that maybe Smiley Ren's new master, may, or what, I don't know, was something with Plagueis. Because he obviously yeah. has to, Plagueis has to have some sort of play. And this is, how, how long ago was this before... Like a thousand years, or how long, or is it I even think that it's 100. far? So it's so it's just one hundred years. I think you're right. I was gonna say a hundred first, but then I had to second guess because because that's really not that far from the prequels. So then Plagueis has to be around. Then yeah, he was born between one forty seven and one twenty BBY, so that would line up. He'd be about like twenty to forty around there. So then, do you think that's how they're gonna get? That, that's how they're gonna do it, right? The play, they're gonna show Plagueis, and everyone's gonna be like, "Oh my god, this show's amazing!" <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're gonna drop Plagueis for five minutes. And... Probably. Uh, the other thing too with uh, what was there's one other thing with episode three. God, this why see I gave it a zero because it gave me gave me nothing. I felt emptiness with that episode. <laughs> doesn't even deserve a grade that yeah just them started starting singing it was like is this a musical now that was weird oh, and God, then they were just like was... there was some screaming in the background while they were talking that, that episode was, that was so awful man oh I'll, i'd rather rewatch all of loki season two than watch that episode <laughs> oh anyways that's honestly there's not much else i got on the show i'm feeling the same way yeah i think we're yeah, good it's just yeah <laughs> we'll review it the next episode so i feel like all disney shows now are like Okay, we're going to save all the budget for one really good episode and then just like string them along for the rest of the episodes. It's like becoming a theme except for Andor. Andor was really good all the way through. Yeah, that's like, you know, that's like a little black sheep of the family. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, it's the exception, not the rule. Disney Plus shows are trash. Let's be real. We've we've seen enough of them. Look, and I'm not even saying I didn't enjoy some. Like, I enjoyed WandaVision and stuff, but like... Mandalorian was good, but yeah. Yeah, Mandalorian season one and two are are, are good. It's more and more becoming like generally they're bad where they, you sometimes get a good one they almost don't feel like shows because like you don't have enough time to care yeah it feels like they made a movie and then cut it up and sometimes in weird ways yeah it's not like you know when you watch like stranger things like i'm like invested man like those mm-hmm. those characters and the plot everything about it like it feels like weighty and then you watch these kind of like any disney plus show and like it just feels so empty you don't care it's just like Six yeah. episodes, like thirty minutes long, twenty-eight minutes long. Yeah, you know, ex- bad, huh? a few exceptions, but you know the mm-hmm. majority. Marvel, all of them. Even like even I even enjoyed the Percy show that we reviewed, but even that like it, it just it Had just the same it doesn't, issues. 
it doesn't feel yeah. like a real show. Like, I don't know. I can't explain Disney Plus shows. And then you watch like House of the Dragon, which we'll, we'll talk about next. Yep. And it's like yep. a whole nother freaking level. 